guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you how I blow dry my hair and my hair care products and things that I use in it. Um, this video, it has been requested and especially with my, not my last video, or was it my last video? My MAC video. Um, a lot of people were commenting on how they like my hair. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. But all I do is blow dry it. It's nothing crazy. If I'm not blow drying it, then I'm just, you know, doing the wand, like curling iron thing that everybody does. Um, but I know that a lot of people have been asking for a how I blow dry my hair video So I figured and my hair care routine so I figured I'd combine them um, So I'm going to be showing you guys how I blow dry my hair. It's really nothing too special or crazy But again you guys asked for it so I'm going to give you guys what you asked for <laughs> And um, just so you guys know for my hair I do go to Dop Dop in New York City in Soho for my color My colorist name is Andrea and I'll have all her information listed down below again along with her Instagram and all that stuff so you guys can find her if you are in the New York City area or New Jersey or anywhere around us. Um, and I just have balayage highlights. Um, I had an ombre and then I went in for her to kind of fix it because I did it myself. And she just gave me more and gave me balayage highlights. And I love the color. I think it suits my skin tone. It's not too blonde. It's not orangey or brassy. So yeah, she did an awesome job. I love her. That's pretty much it. I mean, I have... Long layers cut in my hair. It's a very basic haircut. My bangs already grew out since the last time I went to see her. I mean, it has been a little while, but I just have like a, not even, oh yeah, I do have a little bit of a face frame, but I have like a long bang that stops like right here. But I like it to be able to go either this way or this way or down the middle because I switch up my hair like crazy. I like to wear it all different kinds of ways, so that is that. I think that's it. <laughs> I feel like I should be giving you guys more information in this intro, but I don't really, I didn't ask you guys any questions, so I don't have any answers to give you, so I guess I probably should have done that so I can answer some questions about my hair in this video too, but just ask in the comments. I'll get back to you guys. You know that, and everything will be listed down below, and I think that's it, so let's just get into the video. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're starting off with shampoo. Um, I'm using this Goldwell shampoo that is purple, which is going to help with toning my brassy hair when it tends to get a little bit of brass in there. Um, I'm also going to be using the conditioner that goes with it. For a deep conditioner, sometimes I throw this in when I'm just, you know, wanting a little bit more moisture in my hair. I'm using It's a 10 Miracle Hair Mask, which is okay. Not my favorite right now. It's okay. And then I'm going to take down my hair out of that towel, and I'm going to be putting in some oil. So this is a coconut oil. I use this one or the Chi one. I'll have them both listed down below. And I just like to start throughout the ends first and then follow my way up into my hair. I never really concentrate any oil on the top of my head because one, you don't need it. You already have natural oils on the top of your head. And two, it's going to create very greasy hair within a couple days. So there's really no point of doing that. Then I'm going to be taking a wet brush and I'm going to just be brushing out my hair. This is going to help evenly distribute that product that we first put in. And I stress that I'm using a wet brush because I need something like this in my life when I'm brushing my hair. Like I have to use this or a detangling brush. Uh, I think it's called like the tangle teaser, something like that. I have to. I cannot use a comb or anything else because that is just going to rip all my hair out and it's going to damage it further. It's going to create split ends. Believe me, this just makes your life so much easier. I used to rave about this when I worked in the salon and I still do, I love them. So then I'm gonna just take a headband and push my hair back out of my face and I'm actually gonna let my hair dry 40 to 80% while my makeup is on my face or while I'm doing my makeup, I should say. So with the power of editing, once that's done, I'm going to just be um, brushing out my hair one more time. But first I'm gonna put in this Kenra Bullet Dry Spray. I knew I was forgetting something. Kind of a bowl dry spray. This is going to further smooth the hair and it's also going to protect the hair. It's, you know, hair protectant. You want to make sure that you're not further damaging your hair when you're blow drying it, straightening it, curling it. Um, protectant really does help, especially concentrate it on those ends. That is the oldest part of your hair and it's going to be, you know, the most dry. So you want to get as much moisture in there as possible. Um, don't overdo it, but get it in there as much as you can because it's going to help your hair a lot. After I evenly distribute that with the brush one more time, I'm going to go in and just quickly do like a fast blow dry and get as much moisture out as I can. I want to leave a little bit in there because it's going to help smooth out the hair, but I don't want too much in there because it's it really damages the hair when you go in with a blow dryer when it's soaking wet as far as like with the brush. You're just steaming your hair, burning your hair, 
it's unnecessary, and you're taking forever to do your blow dries, which is just, nobody wants to be there forever doing blow dries, like I hate blow drying my hair. So after that's all done, we're gonna brush it one more time because then we're going to separate it and get it into um, two even sections on the bottom of your hair so that way you can start to blow dry. Now this all depends on what kind of hair you have, if you have curly, you have straight, you have wavy. Um, if you have a lot of hair, if you have a little bit of hair, you have to take the sections accordingly. So I have about a medium textured hair. It's a dead wave and it's like medium um, on the like thick and thin side. It's like right in the middle. So I take just the bottom section of my hair and I'll show you this right now. I also split it to, like on both sides or whatever. And this is about how much I take for my personal hair. So just, you know, obviously if you have a lot of hair, you want to take smaller sections in this. If you have thinner hair, you can get away with taking a little bit more. So now we're going to take this brush here, which is a triangle style brush. I love this brush. I don't really know why. I can't even explain it. It just has a nice grip when you go through it with your hair and your hair doesn't slide out of the brush. It makes it easier to blow dry, I guess. If I can find it, I'll list it down below, but this is a professional brush that I got when I worked at a hair salon, so I'm not sure if you can, just anybody can buy it. I think you might have a, need to have a license. But anyway, enough about the brush. All I'm doing, guys, when I blow dry my hair is I'm following the blow dryer and the brush. So I'm smoothing down my um, hair with the brush and then following that with the blow dryer. You want to make sure you have a nozzle on the blow dryer. The blow dryer needs to have a nice concentrated airflow. That way it's not going in a million directions, the air is not going in a million directions and causing you frizz and it's directing heat nicely onto the hair which is also going to help your hair blow dry faster. So again, all I'm doing is following it. I go in a couple different ways because that's just my style. But if you just do this here where you're just going down straight with it and following it, you know, following it is the key thing here I guess, <laughs> you'll be fine. Also I do like a little bit of a wrist action at the ends of my hair to just give it a little bit of a bend. The smaller the brush, the more bend you're going to get. This is a larger brush because I have a lot of hair as far as like the length I want to say. So it takes me a little bit of a longer time to do it and I don't want to be here all day. So I just rather use a bigger brush so I can use bigger sections and get my hair done. Okay, so now on to the next section of the hair. Um, the next section, next section that I do is on the sides of my head and I take a pretty decent chunk here. Um, this part of my hair is already starting to dry, so that's why I can take bigger sections also. I really only have to concentrate this really on the root and then just bring it down, like I was saying, follow the strands of the hair. But really the only part that's wet is the main root of your hair and just like a little bit down from that. My ends are already getting dry, but in order to have a nice smooth finish to your hair and a little bit of bend, you have to obviously go through with it blow drying the whole strand. So I'm just going to be showing you guys this as well, but again, just do exactly what I'm showing you here. Just follow the brush with the blow dryer. and with the power of editing the other side is all done and think I'm getting a little bit repetitive here so I just want to try to cut a little bit out there but you'll see more at this moment I'm gonna be splitting again on both sides and then that's gonna leave us with only a middle part left in the center of our head which is basically the mohawk um, I'm gonna do the same exact thing I'm gonna speed it up a little bit for you guys the only thing that I wanted to say was that make sure that you're not pressing your blow dryer too hard on your brush you can definitely lean it, you know, because you want to follow it. You want to make sure your blow dryer is following your brush, like I was saying before. But don't press super hard because you might burn your hair. You have to be a little bit of, like, a little bit careful with that. It's a little dangerous if you are pressing too hard. But just, you know, just close enough where you're getting a nice, smooth um, kind of hair <laughs> with your blow dryer and your brush. Ok 
Okay, so you guys can see here how I have a little bit of bend to the ends of my hair. Didn't do anything fancy. All I did was kind of roll my wrist at the ends like you guys were seeing. And now we're going to go on to the mohawk section. So I'm taking uh, pretty good chunks now up here. It's about an inch, two inches. You just want to make sure the brush that you're using fits in the pieces or the pieces that you're taking from your mohawk or throughout your whole hair actually fit in the actual brush. So this is a larger brush, so like I said, I can take bigger pieces. Here is the only like little trick that I have for you guys that may be a little different from what other people do. I blow dry, um, when I'm blow drying anybody's hair, I usually blow a lot of it or blow dry a lot of it up like this because what this is doing is giving you body. Most people want a lot of body and lift in your root uh, when you're getting a blow dry. You don't want something super flat, otherwise you just say straighten my hair. So this is what I like to do. If you want to add some root lifter, this would be the time to do it. You put it right in your roots and then blow dry your hair up and this is going to give you a nice um, bend and a little bit of body right in the root of your hair. Also using a round brush and as you can see, I'm facing it away from my face. This is going to give you again a lot of body. <laughs> so just continue to do that throughout the mohawk section and it shouldn't take you long because the mohawk section is your last section which means that it should be almost completely dry. I'm switching brushes here for my bangs because they are a smaller section and I do want a little bit more of a bend to them. All I do is blow dry my bangs inward and um, just kind of do the wrist action of twirling the brush to get it nice and bent, bent inwards. That's really it. Um, I lift it up a little bit but I like to do it this way so that way when I am done I can go anywhere I want with my hair. I can do it to the left, to the right, or to the middle because since I went down with it, whichever way I push my fingers towards my hair, it's going to work. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any questions down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!